Five star hotels owned by the Sultan of Brunei deleted their social media after an intense backlash over Brunei's new law punishing homosexuality with death by stoning. Here's a summary of the article. Numerous luxury hotels owned by the Sultan of Brunei have abandoned social media after a furious backlash to Brunei's decision to make death by stoning the punishment for homosexuality. Eight hotels, including the Dorchester in London and the Beverly Hills Hotel in Los Angeles, deleted social media accounts on Wednesday, the same day a new law ordered by Sultan Hassanal Bolkiah came into effect. The law makes homosexuality punishable by stoning to death. Celebrities including George Clooney and Ellen DeGeneres called for a boycott of nine hotels on March 28, when the law was widely reported in the media. Some hotels made their Instagram accounts private, like Paris's Le Maurice and the Hotel Eden in Rome. Every single time we stay at or take meetings at or dine at any of these nine hotels we are putting money directly into the pockets of men who choose to stone and whip to death their own citizens for being gay or accused of adultery, he wrote. All nine hotels are run by a company called Dorchester Collection, which is owned by the Brunei Investment Agency. This post received a score of 9,752, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. So, is the Sultan going to stone his own son to death, or? I'm a gonna need context about his son. I know about the ruling and the Sultan. The Sultan's son is gay. But not just gay, his son's like turbo gay. Jesus fuck, I was like, how is someone turbo gay? That doesn't make sense. Clicks picture below. Well goddamn that is turbo gay. Just as an FYI, they can't delete TripAdvisor, Yelp, Google Reviews or whatever localized review site is popular in your country. In case you are curious as to what hotels they own, here is a handy list. Hotel Bel Air, Los Angeles, US. The Beverly Hills Hotel, Los Angeles, US. The Dorchester, London, UK. 45 Park Lane, London, UK. Coweth Park, Ascot, UK. Le Maurus, Paris, France. Hotel Plaza Athene, Paris, France. Hotel Eden, Rome, Italy. Hotel Principe de Savoia, Milan, Italy. Hat tip. Message from TripAdvisor, due to a recent event that has attracted media attention and has caused an influx of review submissions that do not describe a first-hand experience, we have temporarily suspended publishing new reviews for this listing. If you've had a first-hand experience at this property, please check back soon, we're looking forward to receiving your review. Damn, there goes my fun. Maybe we should boycott TripAdvisor unless they make easily available the human rights violations or crimes of any hotel owners listed on their site. Honestly, this. And hash X200B. We should know about the kind of people we're staying with and giving money to. Any major hotel chain is probably owned by an asshole. Possibly, but there's a huge difference between being a dick to a few people and killing every gay person you find. Radisson Hotel Brunei, 4 stars. Great beach views, nearby nightlife, great dining. Had to dock a point because LGBTQ will be brutally murdered by the government. The porn companies should rent out all the hotels and then film gay orgies there and make sure you know exactly what hotel it is. Edit, holy shit thanks Anon for my first gold edit too, and the silver. Killing people with rocks is stupid. Killing people in general is stupid. I'm looking out my window and seeing a modern city functioning and overall working together to improve their lots, and it blows my mind that somewhere on this same planet there's people who still refuse to put on their big boy pants and outgrow the dark ages. Forget, somewhere on this same planet, the very city you live in is likely to have at least a few anti-vaxxers, flat earthers and religious fundamentalists, along with plenty of other backward and undesirable groups. They walk among us. They can vote. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.